Hi, some of you asked me to make another video where I compare two different countries to each other. And one of them that came up the most was comparing the Czech Republic to Slovakia. That's because it, most people who play GeoGuessr will agree that this is one of the most difficult things to do in GeoGuessr because the countries are very similar, they have a similar language, they have similar ball arts, and they used to be the same country and now they're not. So I thought I could make a video where I compare the two so you can easier tell them apart next time you're playing some GeoGuessr. I suppose what we should start with is how do I know that I've ended up in the Czech Republic or Slovakia in the first place before we try to tell them apart. And the easiest one is their ball art. They're the only two countries that share this ball art with the two rectangle orange things on top of each other. Only place. And that's good for us GeoGuessr players. So that's how you know that you ended up in the Czech Republic or Slovakia. The languages are also very similar. And here you see a great example when you have the same text next to each other. Here's the Czech versus Slovak. As you can see, they're very similar. Luckily for us, there are some letters that are not used in respective languages that we can use to distinguish them from each other. Okay, here you can see some examples of uh, letters that are used in Czech that are not used in Slovak and letters that are used in Slovak that are not used in Czech. You have the U with an overdot, you have E and R with an wedge. While in Slovak, you can find A with an umlaut, L with a horn, L and R with an acute, and O's with a circumflex. Try to keep these differences in mind when you try to distinguish the languages from each other. I've also been told about DZ and DZ with a wedge uh, that can be used in Czech sometimes for foreign words. Otherwise, it's not too common to find this combination in, in Czech. But since we don't personally know these languages, it can be really hard to tell the difference. But I wanted to bring it up because it is interesting to know. Okay, this is honestly some of the best meta I've seen when uh, comparing uh, the Czech Republic to Slovakia. And it's the font. They use different fonts on, on the signs. In Czechia, they use, well, one font. And in Slovakia, it looks more bold. Like to use the bold setting when typing the text. So if you keep that in mind, it's a pretty good meta. There's another one as well. It's the lines. As you can see, in Czech Republic, the line on the signs doesn't quite touch the edge. Here. You have a slight blue still here. While in Slovakia, it goes all the way out. It touches the edges. So keep in mind, in Czechia, it does not touch the edge, while in Slovakia, it does. And you can also see the font here as well. It looks more bold here compared to the Czech Republic. In the Czech Republic, you will find these signs where you see an arrow kind of pointing out of the sign. Well, you don't have that in uh, Slovakia. In Slovakia, the signs look like this. So the arrow does not point out of the sign like in the Czech Republic. Instead, it's on the inside, just pointing towards the cities. I was told about this one uh, by Simi, who is another very good GeoGuessr player. And he told me that in the Czech Republic, you can sometimes find these like cyclist signs that are yellow, but also you can also see the arrows pointing out like the ones I mentioned just a second ago. So this, this image screams the Czech Republic, but I don't know if this exists in uh, Slovakia or not. It's just something I was told about. Uh, I hope it works, but just don't entirely take my word for it. Okay. So both Czechia and Slovakia will often have very similar cars. Just a car with a typical antenna pointing out. It might have some black tape just hanging from it. Not always, as in this case, you don't have it. They show up in both. But sometimes you can find the blue car in uh, Czechia, which is Gen 4, I'll explain in a second. Okay, this blue car will not show up in Slovakia. So if you're comparing the two, if you see this blue car, you know for sure that you're in the Czech Republic. That being said, this car can also show up in Hungary and Bulgaria. So keep that in mind. This is a Gen 4 car. Slovakia does not have Gen 4. So what are camera generations? Gen 1 is pretty much a very bad potato camera. Like you can barely see anything. It's terrible. In Gen 2, you will find a like kind of a blurry circle around your car and a halo above you. In Gen 3, that's, that's the typical coverage you will see in most places. It's just a general, general Google coverage. 
and Gen 4 is when the colors tend to appear very vibrant. It's very colorful and pretty. Sometimes it's kind of a little bit oversaturated. It's just a general beautiful coverage, okay? This is Gen 4. And as I said, that will not show up in Slovakia. So the Czech Republic will sometimes have coverage taken during winter, which is quite easy to see considering the look of the trees and, uh, well, the general grayish look of the nature. Uh, Slovakia did not take their, their coverage during the winter. It was more early spring around that area. So if you see some winter coverage, especially if you see snow, you're definitely in the Czech Republic. However, just don't take only uh, winter coverage for granted, because uh, winter coverage can also show up in Hungary and Bulgaria. So just the fact that you see winter coverage does not make it the Czech Republic. It just confirms that it's not Slovakia, if you're comparing the two. Just for comparison, here's some Slovakian coverage. Uh, this type of coverage also exists in the Czech Republic. I just wanted to generally compare it to the winter coverage I just showed you. When it comes to the landscape, the uh, Czech Republic is generally a flatter country compared to Slovakia that's a little bit more mountainous in general, uh, especially in the east. The Czech Republic is quite flat, like some small hills here and there, but in generally no mountains, in general. And here you have some Slovakian mountains. As you can see, way bumpier compared to the coverage I just showed you of the Czech Republic. That being said, the coverage of like the landscape can look identical in both of the countries. I'm just talking in a general sense that the uh, Czech Republic is flatter than Slovakia. This is not always true, so uh, keep other metas in mind so you don't confuse the two just based on the general landscape. But this is good if you don't have anything else to go on. So in Slovakia, we'll often find some other additions to their electrical poles uh, compared to in the Czech Republic. You will often find like street lights or small white boxes as you can find like here further down. This. It's not that common in the Czech Republic. I have sometimes seen a street light, but it's not as common as it is in Slovakia. Here in contrast, you have a Czech pole. It has nothing on it. It is just a general pole, no street lights on it, and definitely no white boxes. That being said, I have seen it. Here's an example of a Czech pole having a street light on it. I don't see it as often as I do in uh, Slovakia, but it has been... It exists. I just felt I should mention that. But if, when I looked at other electrical poles in uh, the Czech Republic, they generally did not have that as much as they do in Slovakia. This is definitely one of my favorite metas that I noticed. And uh, it is the fact that house numbers in the Czech Republic tend to be fully red or blue with some text under it. Fully, fully colored, okay? Keep that in mind. Compare that to a Slovak house number that has a red or blue border. I made it a personal point to look for house numbers when I'm sure that I've ended up either in Czechia or Slovakia. And it actually seems to hold up. So, in Czechia, you will find uh, fully colored house numbers with text under it. And in Slovakia, you will find a red or blue border and Roman numerals. It actually seems to hold up. So, uh, that's so far one of my favorite ones because it's very easy to remember and recognize. I can also thank Simi for this one. He mentioned that you might find a type of house in Czechia with this type of striped paint, mostly in the north or in the west, that is not quite the same as maybe similar type of houses that you can find in Slovakia, not this specific style. Like you can find striped houses, just not this kind. I'm not 100% about this one, but he said it and uh, I wanted to include it because it's interesting if, it's, if it works. And that's all I have for now. I hope this can help you be able to tell the differences between the Czech Republic and the Slovakia. If you think that I should have included something, if I made a mistake, or if there are any countries that you want, like, that you want me to do next, please write it down below in the comments. Otherwise, I appreciate a like 
and I do appreciate a follow. So I hope you guys have a lovely day and uh, take care of each other.